Okay, so about three, four months ago, I bought two I2C soldering stations. <clears throat> these guys. And there's been a hype about these things, apparently, that they're great. And I, I guess for cost of money at, the, at, at that stage, it was great because it's a lot cheaper than what the JBC is. But, yeah, in after using it for about four months I've got two of these units uh, they are both dead at the moment and to be honest my experience with them is that they are not that great and um, that is my honest opinion um, they constantly when you try and solder telling constantly telling you that there's some issue with the temperature and the only way to get around it is to actually just restart it or just switch it off and switch it on again so at the moment they are both dead no power to any of them they both keep blowing fuses the whole time so don't know what what quite was up with that and i thought well i've got two of them i'm going to open the one and see if we can repair the one so we've opened up the one as you can see pulled all the guts out and yeah sorry it seems like the camera keeps on turning the whole time the brackets a bit crap anyway so we have pulled this little board out of it and had a little bit of a look on the back we found that there was a short there with a TVS diode or transorp or whatever you want to call it um, this this component right there that tiny little one there that component had a dead short in it so we pulled that out and we replaced it and found that if we power if we apply power to this unit here this 9 volt in then we can get the entire circuit to light up and the screen lights up but at this point there is no uh, 24 volt line that that is sufficiently working it seems um, we still need to go through and troubleshoot the rest of the board and I would like to try and get hold of uh, the suppliers to see if they would be able to help us with a circuit diagram at least um, so that we can try and solve the issue ourselves um, I, I don't see the point in trying to send stuff back to China just to have it sent here maybe and don't know if it will ever get here or back there or unnecessary costs um, in my opinion anyway so yeah, so I found that most of the circuit here is working, um, except for that it's giving, not giving us a decent um, or any temperature reading, um, and obviously it's not heating up. Um, so there's still something wrong in the circuit. Um, still trying to see and figure that out. Uh, but yeah, so this this is definitely. The screen is working and so on um, it's kind of disappointing uh, pay about six hundred dollars for each one of these units and, um, and both of them end up dying so to my disappointment I found that there seems to be a short in this uh, transformer um, if you try and power the transformer without anything else connected to it it keeps blowing the fuses um, if you try and put in a little bit bigger fuse um, I wouldn't recommend that for safety sake but uh, if you put in a bigger fuse um, this thing all it does is make a noise and start smoking uh, so there's definitely something wrong with it and um, I am currently looking for a replacement for this one, um, so I, I haven't found one yet, uh, but yeah, 
So at, at this stage, um, I'm just trying to get a circuit diagram uh, to make sure that we can get this little main board going again. Whether we're going to get one or not, I'm not sure. But yeah, we, we will be looking at uh, getting this little guy working. But as for the I2C soldering station, um, yeah, I'm sorry. This is a piece of shit. I would never recommend it to anybody. That is my true and honest opinion. Um, I've got two of them. And I bought two of them in case one died. Then I've at least got another backup. Uh, but having both of them dead. Yeah, it, that's a real pain. 